Hello, Anthony Fasano here from Pass the FE Exam. In this video, I will be talking about how you can prepare to stay focused during the actual FE exam, especially if you have trouble focusing or get distracted easily like I do. Let's jump right in. It's almost FE exam test day the first step on the road to becoming a licensed professional engineer. You've worked hard to prepare and you feel ready. So in this video, I wanna give you some tips so that you can stay focused and don't get distracted during what is a pretty long exam. Let's look at four actions that you can take to help you maintain your focus and achieve your best when it counts most. Number one, know what to expect on the exam. Showing up on exam day with an understanding of what you will be asked to do will help you focus. Spend time reviewing the exam instructions and time limits for each section before exam day. Doing so will ease your nerves and therefore improve your chances of passing the exam. The FE exam contains 110 multiple choice questions and is administered via computer at approved Pearson View test centers. A six hour appointment time includes a tutorial, the exam, a break, and a survey. You'll have five hours and 20 minutes to complete the actual exam. Number two, practice taking exams. Many people start doing practice exams about a week before the actual exam, but that's not enough time to adjust to the six hour exam time if you're not already used to it. If you've watched any of our other Pass the FE Exam videos, you know that I recommend you start doing practice exams at least six to eight weeks prior to exam day. When you practice in exam-like conditions, you want to make sure you're timing yourself for the entire six hours. You're not using any notes or formula sheets other than the provided reference handbook, and you're in a room by yourself without distractions. Number three, eat the right foods prior to the exam. The food you eat on exam day and in the weeks and months leading up to the exam can have a major impact on your ability to focus and concentrate on exam day. Now, I am not a doctor or nutritionist, so you should consult one in designing your dietary plan. However, here are some general recommendations on foods that can help boost focus and concentration. Blueberries and avocados. These fruits have been proven to enhance blood flow and can ultimately ensure more blood and oxygen gets to your brain. By introducing these foods into your diet during your months of studying, you'll very likely be benefiting from the effects of them on exam day. Leafy green vegetables. These veggies include anything like spinach, kale, chard, or lettuce. There are many others as well. They all contain vitamin B and folic acid. Both of these have been shown to improve your brain's ability to stay focused and think clearly. If you don't like eating them plain, for example, in a cold salad, you can add them in small amounts to other foods. You likely won't even notice them if you chop them up small enough. This is what parents have to do with their children. Fish. Fish contains omega-3 fatty acids, and it has been shown that people that are deficient in these fatty acids often become fatigued easier. Omega-3 fatty acids have also been shown to improve memory and increase mental strength. Most people fail to realize how foods can have such a major impact on your ability to study and remember things. Some kinds of fish that are specifically high in omega-3s are sardines, trout, and salmon. If you prefer, you can also get omega-3 fatty acids by taking fish oil supplements. Water. I know this technically isn't a food, but I'm including it here anyway because it's incredibly beneficial and necessary for every part of the human body to function. If you don't currently pay much attention to how much water you drink, now, during FE exam prep time, it's more important than ever. It can make a huge difference in your ability to think quickly and remain focused on exam day. Unfortunately, you can't bring water or any food into exam centers, so it's important to hydrate before and throughout the day 
when you have opportunities to do so. Number four, stretching on exam day. Whenever you sit for long periods of time, your blood circulation starts to slow down and your blood pressure may drop. It's a natural reaction of your body because you're not moving around. However, the biggest problem is that when you're sitting still for a long time, you're not getting as much blood and oxygen flowing through to your brain. This ultimately reduces your brain's ability to stay focused and concentrate. Fortunately, you can minimize this by taking some time to stretch immediately before and during your exam. Stretch your arms, your shoulders, your neck, your legs. Create some movement for your body. It will increase your circulation and you'll likely notice that you're able to better focus than before you started stretching. Stretching also allows your brain a few minutes to refresh itself as you won't be thinking through problems for a few minutes. Make an attempt to do two to five minutes of stretching every hour. I know that feels like a lot of precious time being wasted but your increased ability to focus may reduce mistakes and actually save you time in the long run. I hope you found this week's video helpful. In upcoming videos, I will answer more FE exam questions and run through more practice problems. Pass the FE exam will publish videos weekly, so please be sure to click the subscribe button as you'll get expert tips and tricks, including practice problem solutions weekly to ensure that you pass the FE exam. And I encourage you to please ask questions in the comments below. I will read and respond to them in future videos. Maybe there's a specific topic you'd like me to cover or a question that you need answered. Pass the FE exam will have you covered. I'll see you next week on Pass the FE exam.